Blair bats and means a tremendous amount to me. My son uh, almost died, well basically did in my arms and had Blair bats and saved him. He was in an induced coma for about mm. seven to eight days and he spent about 28 consecutive days and then another 17 days in Blair bats and then those people up there are unbelievable. It has a very special meaning for me. Uh, my daughter spent six days at uh, Batson back in uh, 2009, during Christmas actually. And, uh, you know, she was in so much pain and Christmas Eve to see Santa Claus come around, uh, it helped her pain. You know, it, it went away for a little bit. Do you have any idea how many toys you have today? We have a 24 foot trailer that's uh, full and another 18 foot trailer that's full. Uh, we have uh, several contributions for us, checks and gift cards as well. You know, not, not, not only does this bring our community together to helping the kids, it also brings our law enforcement community together for a good cause other than a tragedy such as a you know a homicide or manhunt or wreck and also brings our, our our businesses together as one as well i've gotten with our guys and told them you know this is a, one of the most important things that will change your life uh it will make you appreciate more of what you have uh it'll make you love your kids uh more than you already do and be thankful for what you have i've toured batson a couple times and uh I challenge anybody to tour that hospital and it will change you for, you know, for the better. People, people don't know that it's there until they need it. That's they? right, that's right. You know, when you got a hospital in that magnitude that turns down no, ch no child ever, you know, it's a blessing for Mississippi to even have such a hospital. My daughter was a patient in 2005. She was five months old and she was diagnosed with a brain tumor at Blair Batson. She's doing really good. She's a seven-year-old that's just uh, crazy as ever. She's a, she's a handful and she's loving life. The, the care you get, the love and compassion that they show you at Blair Batson, they, they, it's not just a job to them. They, they take care of the kids and it's, it's their life. This is what Christmas is all about. This is, this is awesome for me. I'm so excited to be here. Anyway, I can't believe they've gotten so many toys and everything. Great to see all these different law enforcement oh, agencies working I know. together. Exactly. I mean, you know, this is this like I said, this is what Christmas is all about. This is what touches your heart. Oh, it's very exciting to be out here today. Great to do this for the kids, isn't it? Oh, always, always for the kids. This is wonderful. You know, it, it's, I was talking with one of the officers that when there's a lot of times when there's just many police uh, gathered around the medical center, it's not always a happy event. This is a joyous occasion, and for them to be delivering toys to the children, it, it's really special this time of year. The police and the highway patrol, they um, keep us safe. They keep our children safe. But now they're giving to the children in an extra special way by providing toys for Christmas when they have to be in the hospital. It's just wonderful. Trooper Puckett, thank you especially. And uh, just shows you what uh, someone that uh, anybody in our community, what a difference that they can make. Because, I mean, all I can say is, wow, um, this is amazing. What does the Children's Hospital mean to you? You've been here a lot. Well... You know, it, it, they just do such great things, and they're they're so important to these families of these children. And I, and I've talked to some of the parents, and I know how special and how they touch their hearts. And to see these people, the nurses and the doctors and everything, how much they care for these children, it's incredible. It is more than just a job to them; it is a mission. So um, I'm, I'm just very blessed to be a part of it. What's this mean to him today? Oh, a lot. <laughs> this has really made his day. He's been very excited and happy, and he's just, as you can see, having a blast, because he was a little down earlier. For a little kid to see these big old troopers uh, <laughs> when he's when he's playing with action heroes in there himself, I mean, it's got to be pretty cool. It is. It definitely made his day. <laughs> and you don't expect every day for the First Lady of Mississippi to drop by? and. Uh, no, you don't expect that, and that was definitely an awesome surprise and wonderful, and he's having a great time playing with her. <laughs> I bet y'all can do better than that. I don't think they heard it up there. One, two, three. Ho, ho, ho! Santa Claus is coming to town. Yeah! Santa Claus is coming to town.